Hello everybody. Hello all my uh, fellow fiddlers of the plastic. People that play with sharp pointy objects and plastic kits and all that kind of stuff. So welcome to another um, series. We'll call them a series. We will, we'll call it a series. And uh, it's a new project for John. Um, I'm doing the Bronco models. Uh, SDK FZ221 Leiter Panzerschwerwagen SPZB41. There's a mouthful, a mouthful and a half for such a tiny little kit. Tiny little thing. Uh, basically, it's a, a light reconnaissance vehicle of the German army uh, during World War Two. Yes, it's kit number CB3503. Three for anybody that's interested out there, for anybody that wants to get this kit. Um, we've had the unboxing, we've had a look at it, and uh, very impressed. I am very, very impressed with the uh, with the quality of the of the plastic and all in this. So um, let's go down to the bench and let's start building. Okay. All right. So here we go. Here's our kit, and we've already moved all the bags off it because we've had the unboxing so we already know what to expect so what we need here we need the instructions i place them down I'll put the box behind me here get it all nicely set up here a fiddling of plastic so i can uh, I, I can grab what i want rather than filling up filling up my little work area um with bits and pieces and trying to work in a small area make sure you have a nice a nice good size to work on okay so instructions we start off with step number one where else is a better place to start but step number one now step number one has us working with the lower hull okay um we've got our four little suspension pieces and we've got two straight pieces and a couple of other little bits and pieces that got to go in in between them okay so i'm going to get them all cut off i'm going to get them all fitted up and i'll get step two done as well so i'll do step one and step two okay there's step one probably a bit too much light there if i can if I kill this light now for a second, it'll go dark. Right, there we go. There's step one. I have a big shadow just here. Don't know what it's from. Okay. Here's our step one. I turn the camera that way. There we go, I might lose that. Okay, here's our step one. And step two. Okay. I will get that much done. We'll get back to you we'll have a look at it um we'll only go into it in the meantime if i see something that's awkward or i'm doing something and it's really awkward and uh we'll, we'll kind of stop the uh we'll turn on the camera and we'll, we'll look at how we're going to get beyond okay but i don't really see any problems with it not so far anyway but you know yourself when we get start building hot problems may arise so like i said like i said i'll get step one and step two started then we'll have Right, so there I'm after doing step one and step two. And step one and step two lead us to this. Okay, um, we've got a lot of the sort of the drive train, a few other little bits and pieces there on the bottom. Okay, um, so far quite no fit issues, um, not no problems with the fit whatsoever. Everything went together very very easy. Um, one thing I will say though, if you're thinking of buying this kit, the plastic is very soft. So when it comes to um, you know cleaning off the sprue gates and things, just be a bit careful um, in, in, in cleaning them off. Okay. Um, if you're using a knife, be careful that you don't cut into it. And if you're using um, a sanding stick, just be careful you don't sand away too much. Just sand away a little bit and have a look, because you'll see how uh, how easy it will all come off. Um, I have a little bit of a sanding stick here, and you can see, 
can't, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a kind of a shine there off the glue. Okay. And that kind of went down a fair bit. Well, I wouldn't say a fair bit, but it went down enough, you know. And uh, this is almost. Not almost anymore. It's uh, it's quite um, worn, shall we say? I need to get some more. To call to the chemist or the drugstore, as you Americans might say. But, uh, we call it a chemist in in the UK and in Ireland. Okay, but uh, a little bit of rough roughness there. See the amount of dust that's after coming off that, that it's uh, quite quite soft. Okay, so be careful with that if you're if you're thinking of getting this kit. This the, the plastic is a bit soft. I don't know whether that's standard across all of uh, Bronco kits, but uh, this one definitely. Anyway, the plastic is is quite soft. So just be careful with the old clean off that you're not leaning too hard and you're not taking off too much. Okay, so. Now we're on to step three, and what I'll do is I'll do the next page, like I said, same as well as I did that. But I'll do step three, step four, and step five. Right, in step three, we're starting to use we're using these little springs, okay, little springs you get with the kit. So we're working here on our suspension parts again, okay. We've got to build four of these little. Uh, Sub assemblies, okay, and they get attached then in here and that. And we also have an option of putting on a wheel. When I say option, this means optional, okay, so we can put on the spare wheel if we want to. I won't put it on now, I'll leave it to after the painting and everything else, but I will be using it, but not, not at this stage. So, because I'm not using it at this stage, right, if you see here now, I've what I've done marked in green. And I mentioned it in the unboxing. I use a different colour for stuff that I'm going to do, you know, be it after the painting or later on in the thing in the in the build. So I just get that little orange dot. Okay. And on the edge of the page I will make a little mark to show that I've got orange pieces in so you can be you see straight away, oh after this has to be done. So that's step three, step four. I'm putting on the uh, steering mechanism front and back. By the looks of it, does it can, can you sort of it's got four wheel steering? Hmm, it probably has. Turn around in nice tight circles. Okay, so that's in step four. Step five. Then I'm putting in the uh, the the pedals here. Not the pedals, but the, uh, the 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 gear levers and brake system. Okay, I'm putting in the driver's seat and putting in some batteries. Okay, they appear to be batteries. Although it does say paint them steel, so I don't know what they are. But to me, they look like batteries. Okay. Anyway. These all go in, and it says here paint the bottom German grey. I'm going to paint all the interior as you know when I when I've got all the interior parts in there, because it's open enough I can get in there. Um, the interior is going to be white with the floor German grey, and a few other little bits and pieces that get sort of detail painted in there. Um, I'm going to risk painting them at, at the uh, at the after build shall we stage stage shall we say well done John so I'm going to get all these done anyway and we'll have a look at that we'll see what that looks like okay so I'll catch you up then right I'm after doing step uh, three four and five all the little bits and pieces to go underneath okay and a little bit of interior we had the uh, steering mechanism here we had our uh, our springs, okay. Um, 
What else do we have? We have some interior parts. We've got the, uh, the, the, the driver's seat, some hand levers, these two things here. I'm still convinced that's a battery, although that could be a radio. And that, when I look at it, it looks like an ammo box, but I couldn't, I couldn't swear to it. Well, that could be a radio, so there could be both radios as well. Um, considering that the engine is back here, wouldn't the battery be back there instead of up there? It's a bit more logical. Plus, there's too many terminals on it to be a battery. <laughs> but, uh, okay, there, there's those things there. Uh, no problems, no fit things. These, these things here fitted in perfectly. There was a nice little uh, recesses for them to go into, so there was no problems with them. Um, yep, no problems so far. All going well, so let's hope it continues that way. Next, we've got steps six and seven. Okay, six and seven. I get stuck in with these now here. So on step six, we've got the uh, oh, come on. we've got the uh, steering wheel and we've got the foot pedals. Okay. Um, we also have this screen here at the back, which I presume sort of locks off the fighting compartment with the engine, because it, you don't—it doesn't give you an engine, even though it gives you everything else. Thank God, I suppose it's pointless making an engine and then covering the whole thing up. Okay, so we've got our thing and our steering wheel, fill the little bits and pieces to go with that. Uh, on the seven, we're starting now on the uh, little extra interior bits and pieces. Okay. Um, what I will do is I will fix this piece here onto that. Okay, without attaching any of the little uh, implements. Um, just purely because I'll be painting the interior separately, and obviously that will more likely be the interior color and the um, the implements will be different. So if I get the inside painted white, leaving off these until later, see the little kind of rack of hand grenades there, there's a gas mask canister there. Um, if I leave them off until later on, I think it'd be a bit better, best option to do. Um, also we've got um, kind of a bracing support in here and we've got our doors which I will, won't be attaching either because I'll be having the doors open and it's a bit too early to be going attaching doors okay I feel so I'll make up the doors all right but I won't um, I won't be gluing them in place I won't be having the doors closed I won't have the doors open so you get to see that uh, that nice interior if I'm going to the bother of painting up an interior Okay, with the light that's coming from down and looking through the doors, we we'll get to see the inside. So I won't be painting, I won't be uh, gluing on the doors, but I will be attaching them. Okay, um, I think these are for the little hinges here for when the door is open. I don't not a hundred percent sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, um, I won't be, I will not be attaching the doors at this early stage. I'll definitely be leaving the doors open and I'll definitely be painting those bits separately so I'll leave a bit of sprue on them so it's easier to paint them okay so I'll get that much done like I said I won't be fitting all the interior but I will mark off what I fitted and mark off what I didn't okay I'll catch you then okay so now we've done steps 6 and step 7 we've got our interior controls done and we've added in one of the um, one of the side panels there that has the racks for 
hand grenades there and I've got a gas mask canister. Okay, now as you see because I've marked off in orange that I haven't put in the gas canister or the hand grenades. Okay, well I have done all the rest. So a quick look at that. Now I must say the detail in that is absolutely beautiful. Okay, we did put in two boxes. Um, we also put in a really pointy stick. Also put in these little handles here. Okay, or they look like handles. They're just the square up and over thing. So obviously they're brackets of some kind. But they're in anyway. Okay, and we have that section done. We have our steering wheel in with our um, foot pegs. Okay, so hopefully now you can see all of them. You get a better view of that side. See our foot pegs are in, and there's that, uh, that rack. Okay, the hand grenades will go in in here. Okay, the hand grenades will go in there. We've got the uh, gas mask canister for down in here. So, I'm going to continue on now and get more done. Okay, we also got the door. Forgot about the door. We've made the door, right? And you've got to put on the hinges. So, what I did was I got the door to fit. Once it was in place, I found it was quite steady in place. Then put the hinges in the right position and just a tap of glue there and there. Once those little two taps of glue are set, pop that out and then put in a little bit extra glue in just to kind of hold them in place so that's the door and the interior of the door was a handle and a, a kind of a latch bracket piece oh come on come on light okay the handle there and a latch so they're done so now I'm on to step eight and step nine I'll get them done okay step eight we're putting on we're going to the bucket on the other side the other door the other little panels to go on okay what goes into those panels um same idea again we're going to put in the anything that's large but anything that's going to be painted separately I'm going to paint them separately and let them lay at a later stage okay we've got our uh, gunner's seat assembly get that made up as well um, we won't be gluing it down, um, we'll just leave it loose because we we'll, you know, for getting into the floor and getting all our bits and pieces in there, as much space as necessary. But we'll have it made up, okay, and um, tells us what colours to paint it and all that, so we're not too worried about that. And um, the door again, okay, we're going to have our doors open. So I go on I get all these done and we'll have a look at it. You can see this is how it went, any problems, if anything everything fitted okay. So so far so good. We haven't had any any problems whatsoever. Okay, so I carry on and let's get more done. Okay, so now step eight and step nine are completed. Um that's basically finished off the uh, the lower holds interior section. Okay, um, oh, there's this one piece here that does not get glued in because it tells me here not to glue it in. Okay, it tells me on the instructions. And that's the uh, this little uh, weird motorbike looking section. Big set of air hangers. <laughs> um, we used the last two of our little springs as well. Okay. On that, so lovely little piece, very nicely um, molded and all that. So that goes in there. I'll put it in for a second because I want to show you the inside of that. How nicely detailed it is. Um, there's parts then to go on here, 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 in there, in here. Um, down here we've got an MP40 machine gun. Um, we got a uh, mess tin down here, we have a mess tin up here, helmet to go in there, um, 
this side here then we've got all the little stick grenades to go in um, and down here uh, is a uh, gas, gas mask canister and we've got all our controls okay all the other controls are there as well okay so all that is nicely nicely fitted now waiting for uh, interior painting and in my uh, little prep bucket here I have the uh, gas mask canister I have the uh, stick grenades I can paint them you see on that I have the two mess tins I have the uh, axe the MP40 machine gun and a helmet okay this is the send off the helmet I just took it on the uh, onto that I haven't been back to it since so I just have to send off there's a little bit of a uh, if you can see it yeah, you can see it there is we've, we've got the connection mark and a bit of a, a kind of a mould line but it's, that's easy to get off nice little quick rubs of it the softish enough sandpaper will get rid of them without worrying so the next step now is to get the interior totally finished off okay and that is on the next our next step okay it's on step 10 and step 11 and what they are is they're on the uh, the underside of the uh, upper hull okay it's a couple of little bits and pieces to go in there um we've got i think it's a water bottle canteen or whatever we've got the um wire snippers we have a couple of uh, racks and things some canisters we've got uh clocks i suppose we call them the controls driver's controls another box here um, we have more of these little brackets okay they all have to go in on the inside so once they're in then what I can do is I can get the interior painted now I might because I'm for facing painting the clocks yeah I suppose it'd be easy enough to get in there but we'll have a look about fitting this piece here okay because it's got the clocks on it Will I be, once if it's fitted? Will I be able to sort of get in there and get you know just a little bit of highlighting paint in there? Okay, to get the, to get them painted up. Will I be able to do it when it's there, or will I have to do it as a separate piece? So I only know that once I start uh, constructing it. Once I get all the other bits and pieces in, I leave that till the very very last. Put it in dry and say, well, will I be able to get in there with a brush? get them painted neatly if not I'll just leave it out and I paint it separately um, once that's done then I can get the uh, get the interior painted off because the next step basically is all on the outside and well, yeah two steps further than that then we're just putting the top to the bottom so that's boxing off that that so that's the last that we got to do to our uh, interior um, so I'm going to go on get these two steps done. That'll be the end of the uh, video or uh, of uh, video number one on this. Well, build update number one. That'll be the end of that. So, excuse me. I get ahead with that. Get it done, and uh, we'll have a look at what it turns out as. Okay. Now right, here we go. Get a nice close-up view of the inside of that. That's step 10 and 11. So with the interior all finished off now. Um, <coughs> with these little pieces here, okay. You see them? Right. It tells you to glue them together and kind of glue them in that position and then put them on. But if you do that, you can't really have the windows open. If you, well, you can if you have the windows open, but these things will be sort of which are the latches for it, they're going to be kind of down. So I can I just change it up slightly and I have those now raised as you can see here. 
Okay. There we go. I have them sticking out rather than lying down flat inside there. So now I can mount the uh, the window covers. I'm calling the window covers. Okay. I can have the windows open on it. Um, but everything else is there, all the little fittings and all that, they're all in there. Okay, the fittings and the latches and the locks, God knows what else. So, and you may have noticed I fitted the, um, the bolt cutters and the two canteens. Purely because I can, I, can, I can get to them and paint them quite easy, there's nothing really going to be in the way of those. Um, this box here is also going to be black. Now, as you've noticed, I haven't fitted the um, the instrument panel, and there's a reason for that. The instrument panel is going to be black, okay, flat black. So I'm just going to paint that separate, okay. I'm going to paint that as a separate piece. Have it here, cut out and all ready to go. Left a bit of the uh, the sprue on it. Okay, so there she is. So I can now paint that black and you know, detail paint that. That's a little bit easier than trying to deep detail paint it while being there. Okay, it'll just be a little bit, a little bit harder to do it in there. So I'm going to leave it out and uh, we'll glue that in at a later stage after I've painted. So flat black and white then in here a little bit of dry brushing and that will bring up the, uh, the controls now so like I said that's the uh, interior box stuff okay so there's all that part of the interior so I'm going to get all this painted so when that's painted then we can close up and between the windows and a few other little bits and pieces you get to see in there you get to see this got a nice sort of interior so I'm happy enough with that so because like I said the doors are going to be open as well so we're going to get to see a fair bit of the interior of it um, so the next step for me now is to get that painted and as soon as that is painted I will get back to you and uh, We'll have a look at it in its bare white. Then we'll do the uh, the detail painting on it. We'll have a look at that. We'll paint all detail paint all these little things here, the grenades, all that kind of stuff. Because they've all got to go into it before it's all closed up. So we'll we'll do the white first, and then we'll do the detail painting. Then we'll stick the, them back all together. We'll have a look at it, and see what it's like. And then we'll get back on with the, with the rest of the construction. We still have quite a lot to do. We step 12, 13. Step 21. So I said there's quite a number of steps to get through. So that's it for this video, lads. I'll catch you in the next one. In the next one, like I said, we'll have the uh, we'll be doing the uh, painting of the interior. Okay, that's will be the next video, painting the interior. So until then, lads, stay safe, enjoy your modelling. Uh, don't forget to watch the, the full series of these. I'll be putting them up every couple of uh, days or so. As I do, as I get past the certain section, cut the video off and we post it up, and we can you can have a look and see the progress. Um, so in the meantime, don't forget, go and buy yourself a kit, build it, and enjoy it. As John signing off and saying, I'll catch you on the next one, lads. Stay safe, enjoy your modelling, and I'll see you next time.